back in 2014, 2015, I robbed somebody for some money. I guess kind of scammed them more. There's two people, older brother, younger brother. We went, we were gonna sell them some weed. I went outside, picked up some grass, put some oregano in the bag and put it in like those, uh, you know those plastic containers that like has the wipes for your cars? You put it in there, probably like an ounce worth. And we told them $320. And uh, they gave us some money. Well, we kind of opened the, the container, showed them. They were like, yeah, that's good. We get, They gave us the money. Soon as we did that, I peeled off on them. Or my boy at the time peeled off on them. So why am I telling you this story? Well, my past came to haunt me. Uh, the older brother came and uh, we ended up running into each other at Home Depot the other day. And before I get into what happened at the Home Depot, so probably like, this was like 2017, I reached out to the younger brother who was half of the party that I had uh, robbed. And at the time, you know, I was uh, selling weed and, you know, which I don't do that anymore. Sorry, my arm's getting tired. I hit him up and I was like, hey bro, I robbed you a while back, I'm sorry. Um, I'll give you a free quarter or something like that. And he seen the message, didn't reply. He was probably sketched out by me, which I completely understand. Uh, but I tried to make amends, especially after I got sober. I and mean, there was a handful of times that I don't remember what happened, but there's people that I remember that I did wrong, you know? So I've tried to, as I remember them, or the ones that really stuck with me, I've reached out to a lot of people and apologized for, for like, hey, sorry that I was a dickhead. You know, I wasn't myself. But anyway, so this happened almost 10 years ago, right? The the, the brothers that I had uh, robbed. I'm at Home Depot. I have this, uh, I'm buying some paint. Gonna be painting these walls. He goes, you know me? And I said, no. He said, do you know my brother? Blah, blah, blah. I said, yeah. And uh, then he goes and tells me, hey, you robbed us. As soon as I heard his brother's name, I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I know what this is. And I, and I just kept my mouth shut, you know, because at the end of the day, he was very upset about it. Even though he's 10 years old, I understand. You know, I played soccer. Their, their father coached me when I was younger. Played soccer with their family and stuff. You know, so I, I understand, you know. And so he tells me, he's like, yo, I swore to my brother, if I ever saw you, I was going to uh, swing at you. So I told him, hey man, if you want to swing at me, go right ahead, you know? And if you want to get his lick back, he could have got it. And uh, he was like, nah, I'm here with my kids. I see the two little ones. So I was like, all right. So he starts talking and uh, going off on me a little bit, disrespecting me, um, not to a crazy point where I felt like, you know, cause I, at the end I wasn't in the, in the right. So I then, once he gave me a moment to talk, I tell him, I say, Hey bro, look, none of this, there's no excuses for what I did at the end of the day. I was like, but, you know, I graduated like class of 15, something like that. So at the time, I'm only like 17, 16 years old when I did this. I'm almost 26, so this is about 10 years later. I tell the guy, look, I wasn't around the right people. I ended up getting really bad into drugs. And I got karma for a lot of the things that I've done in my past. And and I almost lost my life and uh, yeah, you know, I'm sorry, I should have never done that. And I thought we were gonna leave it at that. The dude proceeds to walk away and tells me, hey, don't ever step foot across my family again. I'm just like, what? Like I haven't, I didn't avoid your family, but I haven't seen your family since I, well, I seen him one time after I had robbed him and his brother. Um, and he didn't say anything to me. This was at some wedding, but yeah, so I took that kind of disrespectful, you know, cause it's like, hey man, like if you wanted an apology, I gave it to you, you know, and it, and it was true, a true apology. I wasn't lying about it or just saying it to make you feel better. It's a true apology. And now you threatening me. So I proceed to tell him, hey bro, you know, like, what is this? Like, let's leave it at, 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 at where we were at. You know, don't talk this extra shit. If you want to fight, we can meet up any day. 
you know, I, I tried to keep it as clean as I could because there was kids there, but I was worked up. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, so he's like, no, I'm not threatening you. I'm just letting you know, don't step across my family again. And I'm just telling my like, bro, there you go again, saying that same shit. Like, I don't care about being around your family. I've, I've been just fine without being around them for the past, my lifetime, you know? And uh, yeah, so I told him again, hey bro, if you wanna fight, we can fight if that's really what you wanna do. If you wanna get your leg back, we can do that. And if not, then fucking fuck off. Don't step foot across me, right? Don't, don't, don't cross my path, you know? And he just walked away. I get into my car, I drive off to like, I mean, obviously I'm in the parking lot and I drive up a little bit because I had to take a phone call. I didn't want to drive and be on the phone. And I see two cars parked right beside me before I, I leave to pull out to a different spot in the parking lot. And I'm like, yo, I bet one of these is him. See him walking out the Home Depot, looking around. He's going to his car, he's kind of surveying. And then as he pulls off, he I know he's seen me, he drove right by me. But you know what, guys? The whole point of this is what I wanted to tell you. Don't let things that happened to you or things that you did 10 years ago, a year ago, two years ago, mess with your head. Because I'm not going to lie, after that happened, I was like, damn, maybe I'm just a garbage person. I'm really just a shitty person. But, but honestly, guys, like... I've changed so much and the people that know me know that I've changed so much since that incident, you know, and, and many other incidents. I am a completely different person. So do not let your past define you. Do not let people try to throw it up in your face. Cause as that, as they, as that guy was walking away, his kids go, who is that? I don't want to speak for the father, but I'm sure he didn't have very kind words to say to me and I'm sure when he tells this story it's uh it's it's not going to be favorable towards me you know which is fine this is his life his story his truth but me guys i've ran into people that have robbed me that were childhood friends and after i had gotten sober and got out of that life i had no beef with them i asked them if they was doing good Hey, bro, you doing better? You know, because at the end of the day, that's just part of it. You know, I don't want to see anybody like this. A guy, uh, there's a guy that, um, when was it? This was after I was sober. I let him borrow some money. It was a guy I used to hang out with. And he got me for probably like five, six hundred dollars $600. I was pissed, bro. I seen him at Walmart. I wanted to mess him up bad. At the time, I didn't really have no money. But you know what? I was the bigger man. I was like, all right. And uh, God rest his soul, his brother passed away. And I reached out to him. And I don't know how they're doing now, but I know at the time that I was with them and when I had last seen them, they were on pills real bad. And uh, I just messaged him and said, hey, bro, you know, I had great memories with you and your brother when we was all hanging out. I hope you're doing all right. And may he rest in peace. And left it at that, bro. If y'all salty over money, one thing that I learned from my father is money comes and goes. If you lose 200, you're going to make it back tenfold. You know, kind of went off on a rant. But I just hope that this gets out to the right person who might be struggling, overthinking about their past like I was yesterday and how I did for a very long time. But... Don't let your past define you guys. We're better than that. We move forward. This truck is loud as shit, but somebody got to carry the boats. Somebody got to carry the logs. Let's get it.